Hi and welcome to my studio. Today we're going to talk about blocking the figure. We will talk about what does it mean, how do we do it, and is it a necessary item in your set of tools. We will see some examples, we will go over the technique itself, and I will share with you some tips and tricks throughout uh, this video. So let's get started. Okay, let me start by saying that we do not always use the blocking technique when we're painting or drawing. Just like any other tool at our disposal, we select it when we think it's appropriate. The blocking technique allows us something more organic. It gives us the ability to describe something without going into every detail in the figure. And so let's go and see some examples and discuss them. Okay, let's have a look at a painting by a French artist by the name of Jacques Louis David. He painted this painting in 1787. This painting is called The Death of Socrates. Okay, for our purpose, let's take the standing figure and see how to block it. Let's remember that the whole idea behind the blocking process is to simplify things. And so the whole process is uh, very simple. What we want is to create something similar to a silhouette, but a bit rougher. The idea is to then take this uh, rough silhouette or rough blocking and then refine it slowly until we get all the details uh, of the figure. And let's see an example, a demonstration of how to do that uh, literally on a paper with uh, charcoal. Okay, so before I start, I look at the paper. I'm imagining uh, the figure that I want to draw. Thinking about the composition, it's a very simple composition of a person sitting. Uh, but I take the time and I look at it and I'm thinking of where I want to place uh, the figure itself and how exactly to do that. And I start with rough uh, sketch or rough blocking uh, with a very big charcoal with no details at all. And we will see how we are taking this uh, slowly blocking it and then refining it uh, to more and more details. What we're seeing here is the blocking stage of that uh, figure. It's a very, it's very rough. It provides us with certain understanding of uh, the figure itself, uh, what we're looking for and how um, the figure is uh, roughly going to look like. You can see that I think about negative spaces. I think about angles uh, from the head to the shoulder, uh, from the shoulder to the leg, uh, etc. And this helps me, of course, uh, orient the figure correctly uh, as, uh, as I want. And of course, I can always change it uh, whenever I want, but this is a very rough uh, blocking stage of that figure. I then move to refine uh, the blocking stage, to refine the figure. I use a, a charcoal pencil. I'm trying to clarify the legs, the head, the, the arms, uh, etc. but without going into very very detailed uh, description just to clarify the figure itself of course each artist can decide how far they want to take the refining process uh, some would take it to a very realistic level others uh, might leave it uh, a little bit before it all depends of course on your own style uh, and technique This is a demonstration I did for my students a while back. So of course I didn't take it uh, to a realistic level, it was just to demonstrate the blocking process and understanding uh, how to look at negative spaces uh, while drawing and uh, blocking the figure itself.
course one of the things that you need to remember is the parallel between the blocking process and uh, uh, working with clay to sculpt a sculpture. Uh, just in the, in the same way that when we work with clay we start with big chunks and then we cut away uh, pieces from it until we uh, refine and refine the sculpture to whatever we want. We do exactly the same thing uh, when working with uh, the blocking technique. So I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next uh, video.